Ballyclare District Historical Memorial Association Disappeared Jerry Adams has just released a book of poetry called Poems for Hard Times, written for his family and friends, in memory of victims of the coronavirus, and as a tribute, he says, to the frontline workers who minded us all. Some of these frontline workers would have been seen as legitimate targets by Republican terrorists not so long ago. So when you pen your next book, Jerry, why don't you write it for the innocents that were disappeared? Dedicate it to the families that suffered at the hands of the IRA, in memory of the lives so brutally taken. A tribute to the surviving victims left maimed, disabled and mentally broken. Maybe in your next book you could include this poem. Disappeared by Simon Corey Mummy disappeared. There's not a lot to say. A bunch of people came one day and took our mum away. She must have been a tough one because there were ten of them or more. They said she'd helped a soldier that was shot at our front door. Annie said she'd not be long, they'd only have a word. But we waited and we waited, yet nothing else was heard. The welfare came and split us up, our lives forever wrecked. And every night we'd say our prayers, just hoping she'd be back. Ten children sent their separate ways, the saddest part of all. Ten lonely little children, so lost, so young, so small. You buried her in County Louth and said you knew no more. For thirty years she lay there before you told the score. So when you write your poems, Jerry, pen one for our mum. Her name was Jean McConville, disappeared by the IRA gun. Our thoughts are with the McConville family and the sad loss of their mother Jean, and we offer our support and prayers for the fight they have still to face to receive the truth and justice they so rightly deserve.